Coach Vargas, uh, first things first, how long have you and Isaiah spent here? When did you when did you fly in from Colorado? We flew in Sunday afternoon during that big storm. Oh, wow. Did you guys get any delays or anything? Oh, yeah. It took us three hours to get our rental car. Really? Power went out right as we walked up to the counter. So Detroit? Uh, we flew into Cleveland. You flew into Cleveland. Okay. So that's actually easy. So Frontier. Yeah. That's an easy, real easy flight. Yep. Nonstop. Nonstop right there. They're a scam. They scam you on the bags, though. So did you know that? Or you yeah, find out? I found out 33 bucks for a backpack. Backpacks. Yeah, they, and they get you. They get you good. And you try and they like let you check in, and when you get to the counter, they'll be like, "Oh, that's fifty bucks or whatever." Yeah, they yeah. they get you good. Um, so easy travel in, except for a storm. Yeah. Come in here and watching the wrestling you're watching this week. Okay, watching Isaiah get better, having really good partners. Is this what you guys expected? Yeah, yeah. I mean, based on my dad's recommendation, he's like, "Best your money could get." So we came here expecting to get better, and you know, iron sharpens iron. That's what he he came for. So. It's great to see. He's super physical watching him wrestle. Like he's he's strong, and he yeah. goes hard, and he's you know he attacks hard. A lot of these guys got crazy styles. Him and Enrique, it gives me anxiety to watch. Yeah, <laughs> well, right. I mean, yeah, it is. Um, and we were talking about it on the way home yesterday. It was like there's three styles. Gavin slick, Isaiah's is pretty straightforward, and Enrique's pretty funky. So watching those three go, it's like they're all learning from each other in their different styles, as you mentioned. So been great to see oh man i mean like seriously it gives me anxiety they got in this crazy like over under like a overhook position over under i don't know one somebody had double unders somebody had double overs and it was like they were tossing each other all over <laughs> one of them got planted i got the wind knocked out of me just hearing it i was like these guys are nuts man yeah. but you know when you guys can come here and you can get the top level competition you know yeah. you know he said there's never room like that necessarily all, every week at like let's say mile high or something like that right yeah there's there's good workout partners, but there's just, there's like a murderer's row here. Yeah. You know, you just, you grab someone and go and you get better. Tell me about Thomas Jefferson and what you guys are trying to do at Thomas Jefferson, you know, in the Denver, greater Denver area. There's, they're constantly building new schools everywhere. You have a huge population influx into the Denver, greater Denver metro area, right? Yeah, you do. And it's, we're at the Southern end of Denver, right at the end of 25 in Hampton. And I've been, the, I was the assistant for like 10 years at Thomas Jefferson. And last year was my first year as head coach. So I learned a lot of, you know, you're not the assistant anymore. It's more managing like schedules, parents, bus rides, all that other stuff. So that was something I learned this year and we're just trying to grow the program. And that's the reason I came out as well to pick up some of the finer details that these guys are showing. When you look at, uh, you come out here and we're in the middle of the field, <laughs> it's like over your shoulder, which actually people don't understand. Eastern Colorado looks similar ish to this there's more of a rolling prairie hill yeah right but like when you come out here and you're not there's no mountains to see and there's only rustling to do right like he just doesn't live too far from red rocks he said right because you guys yeah. are a little southwest right yeah and, and and you know is it weird to come to ohio and not have much to do for me no because my dad as i said lived in cincinnati so isaiah as soon as we got in that car it's green i'm like yeah the eastern plains are you know dry and yeah dried it's out arid fields. yeah very so it's it's a shock. The humidity is the biggest thing. Like you're not used to, if you go under a tree in Colorado, it's 10, 15 degrees cooler. You just, you don't escape the heat here. There's nowhere to hide. Yeah, nowhere. Like even in the building, they got fans going and it's like all the bodies start moving. They're scrapping. Yeah. It gets even hotter, right? Exactly. So yeah, that, that's culturally, that's good for him. And North Carolina's got a humidity too. He's going to find out. Yeah, he's going to learn. He's going to learn about that. You know, when you, so, you know, he's one of the better guys in the state of Colorado. He's just Colorado state champ. But, you know, I was talking to him and Isaiah says, he made a lot of his own workouts up. He was doing muscle ups. He was finding ways to work out. He was running five miles a day. Coaching someone like that is it, is it pretty easy? It is. It is. You just you just kind of sit in the chair and you're like a wide receiver coach. You know, you're oh, try this, try this route, try to do that. And I have to give credit to his parents. His dad's a great help. He helps not just with Isaiah's but with the team. His mom's all for everything to make him better. So. As you're saying, it's it's an easy job to coach Isaiah because he's really self-motivated and he, he looks for alternative routes on his own. Are they going to have a season next year? Will you guys have a season? I hope. I'm holding out hope. I Right now, I mean, the phase one, we can go to a football field and run around in 100-degree heat and, you know, burn kids out in July that don't really know much about wrestling. So it's kind of hard to hold practices in Colorado right now because that's what we can do. We can go run around a football field. But I'm really holding out hope that we will. So for obvious reasons, I want to 
He was our first, our school's first state champion. He was a, he was Thomas Jefferson's first state champion ever. Yes. So, wow. You know, I'd like to see him go back to back. Yeah, I, I mean, he could be the school's first two-time state champion, right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, he can make history. Um, when you guys look at you know your dad's recommendation and talking about Eric Burnett and, and coming here and his brother Scotty, is Burnett trained something where you're gonna maybe we'll start seeing Thomas Jefferson maybe year in year out? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to make sure my kids are at this level before because a lot of my kids come in as freshmen so hopefully by their junior or senior year but yeah we'll be back out here to learn and get better i mean the what i really like about this camp is it's more not throwing 50 moves at kids but 50 different ways to get to the moves you already know it's a lot of you know positioning angles and i really appreciate that and i know he is he's taking a lot from it all right what do you guys got for the rest of the summer can you even do anything back in colorado can you go to rocky mountain national park can you go to the Western Slope and do anything? Can you guys travel the state and do what you want and hike and camp like you want, or is it all shut down? It's all shut down. I mean, I can't even get into the school to get my banquet awards. Really? Like, yeah, they're they're locked up in the building. So once once I can get back in, I'll get those. Did Mile High or the, because they're all at high schools, right? Yeah, they're they at, can't have club. No, you guys can't do this right now in Colorado. No. So he came out here all on his own conditioning and making stuff up, and he looks this good. Yeah. That's pretty he, good. Yeah, he, I mean, he wrestled um, in Oklahoma, that tournament in Oklahoma, a couple weeks back. How'd he do? He took fifth. He lost in the first round. And then but, came back and took fifth? Yeah. I never, was fifth the best he could do? Yeah, it was the best he yeah, could Yeah, because when you lose early and a lot of you don't make the semis, because yeah. the semifinalists then go for third and fourth, right? Yeah. 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 I was on the way here, I was telling him, I'm like, your, your coach, I watched Coleman Scott do that at NCAAs. Remember, he lost in the first round, battled all the way back, took third. Like, so it's possible, and that's just kind of the kid he is, you know. He doesn't dwell on a loss. He just moves forward. All right. Well, biggest thing you want him to take from camp, what is it? Um, just situational wrestling with, uh, you know, as you were, we were talking about all the different styles. you got to be able to adapt to all the different styles on the, at the drop of a hat and um, just take a couple, couple angles away, a couple setups, and get better. Get better. Yep. I like that. <laughs> I like that. You got anything else for me? No, I'm good. Hey, thank you for the time. I've been one, It's been fun watching him scrap. Yeah. And uh, I'm glad that you're enjoying the humidity and the, the beautiful Ohio. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the beautiful Ohio. I mean, look, look, let me look. Let me get this for everybody. That's what That's what you guys got to look at this week. Yeah. But, hey, not that unsimilar to eastern Colorado, which that's oh. more of a rolling prairie held up. Yeah. Not quite as green, though. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, because yeah, that's... And the tree line's not there, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. you're right. All right, but, thanks all right. for the time. Good luck to you guys. Safe travels back to Colorado, all right? All right. Appreciate it.